question 10. Now I think it helps if um, even before you start doing this question you realize that you're going to be drawing a straight line. There are no squares or cubes or square roots. We've just got good old fashioned X's and Y's and normal numbers. So if you realize this is going to be a straight line, that's really half the battle. So how do we draw a straight line? Well, we need to generate a few points. So let's just make up some X values of our choice, say 0, 1, and 2. And we'll pop these numbers into our function. And we will just see what Y values pop out. So when X is 0, 2 lots of 0 is 0, add 3 is 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. So that's generated our first coordinate, 0, 3. 0 along the corridor, 3 up the stairs, 0, 3. Another, time, another point, when x is 1, we get 2 lots of 1 is 2, add 3 is 5. So when x is 1, y is 5, we've generated the point 1, 5. And again, I think I would always do a third for luck. So I've popped in 2 to get 7, so to pop the point 2, 7. Get out a ruler and draw in your straight line. Uh, the red line is your final answer. So that's your answer for part A, the red line. Now for part B, we need to shade the region that satisfies these inequalities. Now, be careful here. We've to, 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 draw, uh, to work out the area x is less than or equal to 3, we need to start by drawing the line x equals 3. Now be very careful. This is not parallel to the x-axis. x equals 3 is this line going down here. All right? Every single point on this line would have the, the x-coordinate of 3. So 3 0, 3 1, 3 2, 3 3, 3 4, and so on. This line is x equals 3. Equally, this green line is y equals 2. So then looking for the area which is less than or equal to 3, greater than or equal to 2, and yet it, y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. This is bit in between, so it's this triangular area shaded, which they've asked us to call R.